Hi there. So in this video, we're going to start uh, building our policy rules. Uh, before we start doing it, uh, I remember that I didn't share the router configuration. So this is a very basic script, uh, just uh, configuring the IP address uh, on same interface as the gateways. And you see here that uh, in my previous topology, uh, the gateway was directly connected to the router but actually it has to be in the same subnet as the other gateways, okay? And all of them will have the router as the gateway. So I enable DHCP on the outbound interface of the router and I enable NAT, so those IP address will be translated when they cross over the router in case they want to access the internet. So that's a very basic configuration. So let's jump over our smart console and start building our policy. So we're going to make a similar uh, policy rule like this one. Okay, the main uh, idea is to show you guys how to do it. And once you, you see me doing it, you see that it's very easy. So we have some rules and we have some objects okay so each one of these icons here it's an object and uh, you see here that the gateway this is actually a cluster okay so probably we're going to do this uh, uh later on so right now we're going to keep both gateways I'm not going to do the cluster for now and we have some internal networks Okay, so let's just start building this. Let me, okay, let me hide this tab. If you want more space, you can arrange like that. Okay, and the first one, uh, okay, so first one, do not log, and this should be any source uh, to any destination, boot, TP, and NBT, okay, so. Let's click on the rule and type uh, right click and type a new rule above. And it says do not log. Okay, do not log uh, from any source to any destination. And the services are so you just uh, type plus symbol here to we'll open this window and here you can search and it says bootp so you can just start typing bootp and we can press plus will be added automatically or we can just uh, double click and it will be added okay so when we pre uh, let me remove once again so if we just search again bootp and press plus we can then search for the other service and i forgot nbt okay nbt that's a group object okay means that there are a group of there there are other service inside this group inside this object so we are done and the action is drop. Uh, normally, this type of traffic you don't want to log, so I'll just I'll keep track to none. And right now, the policy will be installed on all targets, and we'll see this in more detail in the next videos. Okay. So let me see if I can work this. Okay, now it's better. Okay, and then we have GUI to SMS to cluster. Okay, so we have to add this object, a GUI. So we can do this this way. We can click on this rule or in this one and say above and call management. Uh, the source. Okay, if we search for this source, doesn't exist, right? 
but we can add from here we can say add a new host okay and we'll type the name now i just have to know the name and the ip address for that host let me see if it's here somewhere that's a GUI so that's Bravo host ADMZ LDAP a host mm. okay we'll just use any IP from our 10 1 1 1 and I only just choose 10 actually 1 or no 10 is okay okay this is going to be a single host and what is the policy again okay and probably that's orange or brown I believe that's brown yeah so that's a GUI 10 1 1 1 10 and this object will be added to the measurement database and to our policy room and it has destination the management server and uh the gateway cluster okay but right now i'm just going to add uh the management server and i believe we call the management server no so where is our management server so we can fetch from here network objects gateways and servers oh sms and we can drag and drop we can drag and drop okay so this is very cool and what are the services so https and ssh version 2 so we click on plus single https and ssh version 2 okay that's it and okay resize that and we want to accept this traffic so we're going to do right click and choose accept and this type of traffic we want to see the logs so you right click on it and choose log okay so stealth is the same thing or we want to drop any traffic destined to our gateways so we can click on this one and add a new rule below let me minimize this let me hide this and we're going to call stealth okay my english yeah so any traffic going to my gateways okay will be dropped and i don't need to log this type of traffic and outgoing traffic is my internal network probably going to internet see here http and this is uh, a network object okay so we can also add the objects from here we choose network and call a internal net and type 10 1 1 0 and okay and we can press ok and then we go into the network objects network okay we can drag these objects to the rule oh or we can we can add directly from the policy so i have to add this now add a new rule below we'll type outgoing and the source has to be our new object a internal okay and we need the management so we can 
add this new one network directly from here management net and i believe this was 192.168.10 something it really doesn't matter right now and we press okay okay that's it and the service has to be http and we want to accept this and log as well and we have LDAP traffic this is from internal network to our LDAP so for for this lab actually what i'm going to do i'm going to place the place the LDAP server in same network as my internal network so we don't need this rule and we need this one dns let me add the new rule below dns and what i want is uh my internal and my management and my dmz and i believe dmz it's i can check this right here right here let me see if i type oh i didn't okay but i think it's 192.168.12 let's confirm right now let me guess yeah it's 12 that's it so okay so the name is ADMZ net so another approach that I like to use personally and uh, you might find some documents also people that use the same same format is instead of just typing a name it's most um, it's clear if you just use this format net 192.168.12.0.24 so just by reading the name i know which network i'm talking about so it saves a lot of time for troubleshooting uh if you want to add a new object or you want to know if this network already exists so by typing the subnet as the name or in the name field it's really helpful okay some so i've seen some some people using just the n so you already know that's a network okay that you can use wherever you like just be sure to make your it uh easier for you so in here we type the network 192.168.12.0 and this is a slash 24 okay and another approach that i also like to use personally is uh different networks i give them different colors so dmz normally it's exposed to the internet uh, so i would use a uh, red color so just by looking at it i know okay this is uh, this is not the safest network and this is an internal network and probably the management I can consider as internal so we'll have the same color so you checkpoint gives you this uh this option to play with this so you can use just in the best way that fits you so and for this one is going to be the dns group right here services so it's going to be dns okay and we want to allow that and log this traffic so our cleanup rule it it says that every traffic that doesn't match here these rules above they're going to be dropped by default and you want to know which traffic is being dropped okay probably there is uh interest traffic that you need and you don't know is being dropped so uh this is a good recommendation to log 
uh, the, your cleanup room. Okay. And I think that's it. We're not using this one. We're dropping. Yeah. So now what we're going to do is to install these change, these policies. And we're going to save on the management server and it's going to be deployed to the gateway. So we get here, install policy, publish install. We can give it another name, uh, adding, adding rules and publish and install. So first it's going to publish just, and then it's going to install the rules okay so you see here it's going to install on both gateways and once i press install and we can see the progress as well and i saw there is a new feature uh yeah that's Install policy acceleration. Hmm. Okay. So it it says that it's installed the policy faster. So we can see this working. I haven't tried it yet. Okay. So and the policy was installed successfully on both gateways. So we have created this policy and publish and install the policy. So you should try to build a, a policy also and see the results. So this is it. I'll see you in the next one.